kitchen's officially a mess. My hands are a mess. There's flour on the phone. There's flour on the iPad. There's just flour and pasta on the floor. Yeah, just everywhere. Morning. It's Sunday morning, August 1st. It's just after 9 a.m. And we are starting off the day with a walk. Starting off the week. Yeah, the week with a walk in the morning before it gets hot. We are going out later this afternoon with the kids for some wine tasting and that sort of thing. We thought we'd go get some steps in before we do. So we're going for a quick, quick walk and yeah, I didn't get any steps in yesterday because we were at my dad's working on stuff. It was kind of depressing, you know, all the things. So, you know, yeah. Anyway, so we're going to start the day off hopefully on a high note, get some steps in, and then go have some fun with the children. I'll bring you with us where, where I can, and I'll be back. everybody it is just after 8 a.m. Monday morning August 2nd my birthday um, uh, hold on a second I'm gonna turn things on and all that hold okay. on. so I'm all dressed to go walking this morning Bob is out at an appointment and when he gets back I think we're gonna try to go for a walk um, at least I hope we are because I'm dressed for it and haven't had a shower yet. Can't remember my password. There we go. Um, it's a weird birthday because my mom isn't here anymore. My parents usually call and sing me off-key happy birthday every year for my birthday since I can remember. And um, this year it's just my dad. So, anyway, I'm going to do something cute and I'll play it right here. His message of his, his off-key rendition of Happy Birthday. And, uh, happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday, wonderful daughter. Happy Birthday to you. It was very sweet. My daughter's mother-in-law, my son-in-law's mom, called me yesterday and... Uh, she knows it's a difficult birthday for me because my mom isn't here. And she sang me happy birthday. I didn't get that recorded, but that was very, very sweet of her. Um, we went out wine tasting yesterday and with the kids. I don't really drink anymore, but I, I did yesterday and the day before that, a couple days before that. I don't know. Anyway, had a few sips of wine here and there. It's not going to hurt me. And it was a lot of fun, and we got to see some beautiful sights and some beautiful photographs. I, t I took some beautiful photographs, and it was a good time. Uh, it's a little bit surreal, but I mean, you know. Anyway, I don't know what we're going to get up to today. Bob has taken the day off today because it's my birthday, so I don't know what he's planned once his appointment is finished, but we'll find out, and I will be back. Hey, guys. Uh, we did go on our walk this morning. It is grossly hot out here. It's after three o'clock. I just got all my weekly posts done and my video edited. I didn't get them done ahead of time. Like I said, I was going to last week because you know, life got in the way. Anyway, I see a corn stalk. Darn squirrels keep planting this corn instead of eating it, they keep planting it. Uh, okay, that's gotta okay, go. While the vlog is saving, I'm gonna Go check the mail. There's a couple packages coming today and I don't know what they are because other than Amazon stuff, I haven't ordered anything. So I have no idea what that's about. Uh, I think we're gonna go out for a little bit. Maybe we have to run an errand over to Bed Bath & Beyond, which is a home goods kind of store. 
Um, they don't sell food per se, but they do have my coffee. They sell coffee stuff. So they do have that stuff that I want. So we're going to go do that, maybe walk around the mall and that sort of thing. So just to get out of the house, get some steps in. Bob's got today off. And then we're back at it the rest of the week. So it me. I thought it was going crazy. It's always fun when the kids send their mail to your house. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. All right. I'm going to go back in and hopefully the vlog is done saving. I can get that loaded to YouTube and we can head out and... Yeah, do something with our day. Y'all can't see it, but there's a white butterfly. Oh, he disappeared. Because again, like I said last week, I suck at wildlife photography. It just is a, th is a thing that I don't do well. I see some more corn. I'm gonna pull it and go in the house. I'll be back. I would say good morning, everybody, but I'm not so sure it's morning still. Let's see. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it is. 11.41 a.m. Ha! Huh. It's Tuesday, August 3rd. I was going to say April. Anyway, I spent a couple hours this morning chatting with some friends and supporters from Patreon and the YouTube community. Um, if you want to be a member of either or both, uh, the how-tos are down below. My Patreon is in my Linktree list of links. And, uh, along with a bunch of other stuff um, and how to join the YouTube community is in the video description, so check it out. Anyway, I worked on a page, I'll show you. So I have a great nephew who is two, his name is Paxton. And when I was up at my dad's this last weekend, checking up on things, I got him to sit down with me for a little bit and draw on some paper and he did some scribbles, it was so cute. Um, so I turned his scribbles into this. How cute is that? So there you go. So I'll be sharing that later on social media. And um, I added my mom's prayer card to my prayer card book. Um, I still don't know what I'm going to do with my aunt's planner address book she made for my mom. God knows when. They're both gone now, so I don't know how old this is. Anyway, I found this in the stash of stuff. I don't know what I'd do with it. Probably take it apart, but I don't know yet. Um, I'm also ready for next year. <laughs> ready. And I mean, it's just, this is my desk. I would say to you it's cleaner than it was a few minutes ago, but I don't think it is really. Um, one of the kids got me um, some markers, which I love, but also a bunch of washi tape for my birthday, which I opened, which I love. And yeah, I've got some extra half pans I'm gonna put away right now, because some of this stuff I can just put away. I'm just, you know, not doing that. I don't know why. I need to put some packing tape on the dusky watercolor swatch sheet so I can put that away and I need I got these motivational cards from Amazon and each one says something different and I thought I'm all about words in my art y'all know this and I thought I could use these in um, my art journals and um, just pick one at random and then do a page based on that look up this one love that and so I took the box that they came in and I cut it in half so I'm going to tape the bottom of that together and they can just sit on the table like that and I can just grab one I need to put this away because it doesn't go here so I guess I better get doing because it's not going to do itself I wish it would but it's not going to and probably get this off my table because that would be helpful all right, I'll be back. Good evening. It is just after 8 uh, p.m. and we are out trying to get a few quick steps in. It's finally cool enough, I think. I have water just in case. I got all of my little calendar labels done for 2022. Yes, 2022. Got them done, printed, cut out. Uh, I'll put a picture here. Um, I won't be doing lots of explaining about it on YouTube necessarily, but 
um, something we're going to be using in my art groups and the patrons and supporters already have free access to both downloads. The people in the Facebook group are only going to get one. Uh, but yeah, anyway, it's for them. So if you want access, join a life of art and self-expression. The link is down below. Anyway, I got that done. I got some other random things done while I was chatting with friends and supporters today. And I'm going to do some art in a little bit, some daily practice, but we're going to go try to get some steps in first. Exercise, it's important. All right, I'll be back. Say good morning, but it's already almost two o'clock in the afternoon. It is Wednesday, August 4th. Yeah, anyway, I spent most of the morning in meetings about some un upcoming YouTube collaborations and paid for classes I'm gonna be teaching in collaboration with a couple of other artists whose names you will probably recognize. You ready? Mike Deacon and Bea Grubb. Anyway, I'm um, not ready to announce more than that right now, but yeah. Anyway, I wanted to get out and get some steps in. But I was in meetings with them and dealing with more family stuff regarding my mom's passing and her funeral and all of that stuff. And anyway, it's I think 88 degrees or so outside, so it's kind of hot. So we definitely won't be on a brisk walk and I'm probably gonna need a shower when I get back. But I've got some water, got my rescue inhaler, got my phone, Bob's home so I don't need my keys. And we'll just see how far we can get. That's all we can do. Take some deep breaths, enjoy the peace and quiet, all the things. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. I look like poop. Uh, extra, extra poopy than normal. <laughs> I, I literally just got up, threw some clothes on, and we're in the car. Um, it is 6.52 a.m. Thursday, August 5th, I think. Um, Bob is taking the Barracuda into a local s performance shop to be looked at and worked on a little bit, some things that are beyond our skills. And so I'm following him over there so he can get home. So <sighs> that loud rumbling noise you're starting to hear, that's the Barracuda. So anyway, we're gonna go get this done. Then I can have the rest of my morning coffee <laughs> and some cottage cheese. And then I'm gonna head over to the grocery store and get that done. We need groceries, but I also need some ingredients because the kids want me to, the girls want me to sh work on some cooking with them this weekend. Specifically, we're working on perfecting the gluten-free pasta recipe. They want to know if they can make raviolis with it. I have no idea. Although I've made ravioli before, it's been a while. Anyway, so I thought I better get some ingredients of practice. Because I also think the gluten-free raviolis, you might need to freeze them and cook them from frozen and not from fresh. Or I think that pasta dough might fall apart. Gluten-free doughs seem to be very crumbly. So you have to add extra xanthan gum and or potato or cornstarch to them to get them to not be crumbly. So and even then they still are a bit. So anyway, something about the lack of gluten, I think. Anyway, let's go get this done and we can get on with our day. I'll be back. Okay, yes, I'm still wearing a mask most of the time at the store, especially on days today where it's smoky. Uh, one benefit from COVID is I appreciate now that we can wear masks in the store if I feel like I need it because of my asthma and people don't think I'm like crazy. My hair is just, I don't know what it's doing. It's doing like, I don't know what it's doing. Okay, anyway. my kitchen's officially a mess. My hands are a mess. There's flour on the phone. There's flour on the iPad. There's just flour and pasta on the floor. Yeah, just everywhere. But I think we successfully made gluten-free pasta dough. I made some notes and we're able to make it into a ravioli. Now you can't, 
roll out the dough as thin as I can normally do for a regular ravioli. However, I think it's going to work, but I guess we'll see. We'll have to wait until Saturday and cook it and find out, and I'll have to let you know. Um, and if it works, I'll share the recipe for you. And I used a cheese filling recipe I already had. I did add some pork sausage crumbles to it. Um, so yeah, it's all good. All right, I'll hey be everybody, back. it is Friday, August 6th, I think, 8.43 a.m. I have already done the morning's breakfast dishes and um, checked on social media and answered some questions and replied to comments and all that stuff checked on my email. We are headed out now because I've got to get some an, at the orders in the mail and I need to run a couple of errands. I need to get some postage stamps because I've got to start running thank you notes for the sympathy cards that have been coming in to us and to my dad. Appreciate it by the way. Um, if you would like to send my dad a sympathy card you can use my P.O. box down below. Um, his name is Albert by the way. Anyway, so I am going to get some postage stamps so I can start replying to those because I am sending notes to everybody. Anyway, things to do, places to go, people to see, stops I want to make that I don't have to, but I'm going to. Hey everybody, so, it is Saturday, August, let's see, 7th, I think. It's 11.51 a.m. It's just before lunch. My dad is here. He's spending the weekend. Um, the kids are all on their way over. Um, we are going to spend the afternoon hanging out and chatting and having coffee. I'm sure there'll be some drinking involved, but we're also cooking. So we're making homemade raviolis and I think Jenny and Brian are making popovers, I think. Uh, there's grandpa in the background. We are out for a quick walk between dinner and dessert. The gluten-free raviolis turned out great. Say hi, Dad. See, that's Dad. Who said that? Who, who's that? Uh, you're gonna be on YouTube. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go get a few steps in between the homemade ravioli and the upcoming dessert. I think we need to get a few steps in. Oh. Uh, yeah, but the recipe turned out great. I'm gonna type it up for you all. I'll put some notes down there. Definitely because it's gluten-free, it's a little bit tricky, but if you have some patience, you definitely can do it. I will even include my filling recipe for you all, which was a cheese filling that we used. Anyway, we're gonna go get some steps. Bob and Polly us have Noodle Girl, otherwise known as Lily, our grand dog. And uh, we'll go get it done and I'll be back. Guys, it is 12.50 p.m. Uh, just after lunch on Sunday. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, um, then last week or so and the coming week for obvious reasons because of my mom's passing are going to be very busy with family time and family stuff and arrangements and phone calls and the like so my vlogging is going to be erratic at best but i will do what i can to document what i can not only for you all but for myself so Anyway, you saw that my dad was here for dinner yesterday. He spent the night. He left this morning to go back home. Um, he said everything was delicious, but he ate way too much. <laughs> um, we did manage a finally a good gluten-free pasta recipe, I think. I will, um, as I said in the last clip, type it out for you all so you can share it and you can um, try it and see what you think if you are of a mind to try making homemade pasta. If you've never made it before, it's a little tricky to do gluten-free. Um, I'll put my notes and thoughts about the recipe in there. Um, and we did do ravioli this time instead of plain pasta, but you could definitely do this same recipe as just an egg noodle or other plain pasta. Um, anyway, it was delicious. It was really good. And we also made my grandmother's salad, which is just flavored lettuce. I'll make notes on that too for you all. Um, Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the week and a glimpse into my life. 
Uh, please support the free content here on YouTube and in the Facebook art groups if you can and if you're, uh, if you're of a mind. I do have a YouTube community here you can join and I also have a Patreon. Um, you get um, already chit chats with me and coffee once a week. Um, also digital downloads from me and the occasional stale mail. So think about signing up. You can also just shop in the Etsy shop. I still have that. All the links are down below. Check it out. We have to go run some errands. I'll be back. I'll see you next week. Have a good one. Go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And we'll see you later. Bye guys.